friends. This week's big idea is God has a plan for my life. Let's worship together this morning and then we'll find out more about that. Let's put some motions with our big idea. This is how it's going to go. God, we're going to point up to the sky, has a plan. We're going to spread our arms out for my life. We're going to use your two thumbs to point to yourself, okay? Now, let's do it together. Ready? God has a plan for my life. Great job. Let's watch our Bible video and see what happens with Queen Esther. Hey kids, it's our last week of this series and we've got one more story to tell. This one's a royal story. Are you ready to hear it? Great, here's how it goes. There once was a woman named Esther who was the queen of Persia. Now Esther wasn't born as royalty. When she was a young girl, she was kidnapped by a king and taken to his palace with hundreds of other women. The king lined up all of the women and decided Esther was his favorite. The king didn't follow God, but Esther did, and the king didn't know it. Esther was Jewish, which means she was one of God's chosen people. Soon after Esther became queen, a man named Haman devised a scheme to kill all of the Jewish people. Esther's life was in danger, and so were the lives of everyone she loved. But instead of running away or hiding, Esther decided she could do something to help her people. She went to the king and asked that her life and the lives of her people be spared. Esther chose to speak up for what she believed was right, even though it might make the king angry. The king was shocked by this news and asked who would try to hurt his queen. When Esther revealed Haman's plot to the king, the king sent Haman away and sent out a decree that the Jewish people should be protected no matter where they lived. Esther was able to stop Haman's plan and save her people. Esther probably never dreamed she would be a hero. She was just an ordinary girl who God chose to save her people. No matter what Esther thought her life might look like, God had a plan for how he was going to use her. And just like Esther, God has a plan for your life too. Queen Esther heard bad news. She found out the king had written a law that meant she and her Jewish friends could be hurt. Queen Esther decided to be brave. Queen Esther went to the king if he wanted to talk to her, the king would hold out his scepter. Then, Queen Esther knew she was allowed to talk to the king. Esther told the king his law was bad. She 
told the king the new law meant she would be hurt too. King Xerxes decided to change the law. King Xerxes wrote a new law. The king even had the new law sealed with his special ring. I'm so glad that Esther was so brave. Esther decided to trust God. God had a plan for Esther's life. God also has a plan for your life and for my life. For this week's activity, I want you to pretend to be the king and come up with your own laws that you would have if you had your own kingdom. You can have a grown-up help you and take a piece of paper and roll it up like a scroll to write your laws on, just like the king had. Esther had to wait for the king to give her permission to talk to him. We don't have to wait to talk to God. We can talk to God anytime. In fact, let's pray and talk to him right now. Everybody close your eyes and bow your head, okay? Dear God, thank you for making Esther brave. You had big plans for her to help save her people. Help us to be brave too. Help us to follow your plans for us. Amen. Okay, guys, that's all for today. See you next time.